Hello everyone, Prey Scooter here, and welcome back to more Tears of the Kingdom. Last time, we did some fun things with pictures, did a lot of demolition, and now we're going to wrap up all the quests left here at this stable that's closing down. We'll look into this one, and then I may do a little bit of warping around here to handle some stuff. Send me two frames by mistake, kind of ironic given we're about to close, but far be for me to look gift horse in the mouth. I might as well use the other frame to bid the stable farewell in style. I think a picture with of a giant sword stuck in the peak of Gerudo Highlands is... Oh, that one! Well, I won't be able to see it. I've got clean to. Even caught a picture of a giant sword do piece. So I know exactly what it is. I'm going to go ahead and just mark this on the map because I know exactly where it is. We actually did it. It's this, uh... Not that. It's actually this, the Statue of the Eighth heroine right here. So I'm going to mark this with that. So we know what to do there. But we'll go back and do that. We'll go back and do that in a minute because I am going to take a moment to walk outside. And who would be outside but Pen? Oh, oh, oh. hello there, Pana. What brings you all the way out here? I'd heard visitors stopped coming to the stable, so this place had shut down. But here you are. The changes in temperature are here aren't nearly as extreme right now. Leave it to you to know when to, just when to come through. I've come to this stable because my sources are chipping about a problem with the well here. Actually, they say Princess Zelda caused the, this problem. She shut down this wall and declared it off limits. Mm. Without its water, this stable could keep uh, the stable couldn't keep travelers, horses, or workers refreshed. The well also provided a stable, uh, city supply of mushrooms to folks here. For eating, of course. Oh. So why the princess want everyone to stay away from it? That's the big question, and where sh and where shall our answers? The owner, who's stuck in here, is just as puzzled as everyone else, and I can't weasel down the well to see. What she was so concerned about. My wings are too wide. Y yeah, you you are kind of you are kind of built like a golf tee. Mm. I wish there was somewhere we could get more details, but it seems like the the deadest of the dead ends to me. Well, isn't that a, isn't that an unfortunate bit of news? Hey, what if a toothpick of a man went down here? Uh, I need yes, you. It's no longer blocked. Oh, it's also full of baddies. Okay, you, well, you, you're you fine in the water, so I don't know what's going to affect you at all. <clears throat> I missed the headshot. Ow! Hey. You know, I unfortunately have priority because of spinning. So I don't know what you thought you were going to do other than give me your parts. Actually, I don't even know what I'm doing down here. I'm just kind of down here. I know you're disguised. Oh, a little, little, little too close. A little to the left. Really? There it goes. Anyway, let me go ahead and... Uh, oh. Well, that explains why... That's why I explains why I'm doing, like, no damage. It's a Lizalvo. Let me see them. Let me see that smile. Thank you for the hit, you Nobo. Um, hey, sir. Sir, I can't defend myself. Ow. Give me that back. Walk, swim over here. Swim over here. It'll be funny. Did I just... Do we just have a clash? I think we just had a clash. Okay, fine. I'll just... Sh I'll just keep shooting you. That's fine. Gosh. Thunder Zalfos are just... Hello? Oh, that was the quest? I had monsters down there. Are you okay? Um, no, I'm not. Everything's terrible. Don't come down. Don't, 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 oh. So, what'd you find down there in the well? Uh, the wall's blocked, blockaded. Mm. Ah, so there's lots of monsters behind a pile of rocks. Ah. I can't help but think the princess knew about the monster then. She then must have barricaded it up to seal away the creatures and protect everyone in there. Now, why the princess didn't say so, that's a mystery. But maybe she wants to keep the, any panic from spreading. Or well, maybe it was only a very temporary measure, but then she disappeared. Well, a little speculation on my part, but that's got to be a story there. Oh. What do you say? Hold, hold up, right? Our job is, is to follow the facts, and that's where they take us. Mm. We work together to chase 12 of the stories in Princess Zelda. Mm. I can't tell the chips or wobbles of my little birds anymore. It seems like this was the final rumor about Princess Zelda. I'm going to report this to Tracy. That means this is probably the last addition to our nest egg, partner. Mm, I may have sold too many gems. Oh, well. 
More money's better than no money. Plus, we will need a lot of money coming up here. I don't think it was a reporter anywhere else in Haru who makes this, this kind of money we're making. It really goes to show you how much Tracy, I mean, how much the newspaper values you. If I'm being honest, though, I have a feeling our days of swooping in on scoops are at an end. Yeah, bye, pen. Bye. Leave. Ah, some water of us kind of caught up under my goggles. It really was a blast, partner. Oh, God, he said partner. <laughs> Sorry. Flashbacks from Monster in the World. <laughs> All that's left is to head back to the Lucky Club Gazette and let Tracy know the job's finished. We need to make some educated guesses on, with our story, more than we'd normally do, but let's stay, stand by this piece. We know our princess after all. She had to have everyone's safety in mind. I'll get to writing up all this for the paper. Take care of yourself. Sarlong! And I never have to do that, and I never have to do that, that cheap, cheesy 1950s city slicker, city slicker voice ever again. And everyone's mind and body will be all the better for it. I'm waiting for like, I'm now waiting for like comments to flood, to flood and be like, no, your voice is good with that. It's like, wait, people like that voice? That was a throwaway. <laughs> just, just wait, that voice is a throwaway. What do you mean it was good? What do you mean? What do you mean? Anyway, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and shove some apples in my throat. Hey, look, I got room for a meal. Should, should have come to terms. I'm just, I'm just gonna see what's in the uh, rest of this uh, underground well, even though I don't think it's anything else. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, and mmm, uh, you say. Mmm, yes, quite indubitably, I do enjoy what you put forth here. Oh. Oh, my. Well. K-mu- uh, K-mushrooms. Man, I'm sorry. It's like every time I go to sit down to record this game, uh, record this game with you guys, like the first half hour of the session, is me just belching in your ears, and then after that, it kind of just circles the drain. And then about and about hour, it is at an hourly point. It's not. Hey, cool! I got a boomerang. It's at like some hour of the adventure, we we spark we spiral down to the point where I'm just like two minutes of silence, half an hour of ramble, random ramblings. Followed by nothing else. Nothing else good. Anyway. Well, with this in mind, let's go ahead and handle things in a specific order. Let's go ahead and get this guy's picture for the quest. Then I'll... Yeah, I'll get this guy... I'll get the picture for this guy's quest. We'll report to Tracy. We'll report back to Robbie. We'll finish up another quest that I could have done with Robbie. Cause I found out that I could have handled a lot earlier because I'm incredibly... <laughs> and then... We can finally head to the Gruda area, which, say it with me now, I'm going to handle this area a little different than any of the other areas. I think, oh, it's guarded? Crap, it's guarded. Well, I know how I'm going to handle this. Uh, where is my... Oh, I don't have one that's broken? Well, this will work then. I didn't imagine this would be guard. So the answer for this picture is up here on this cliff face next to this frost gliok. What I didn't know was here. And yes, I did look up that it, if it was here or not. I didn't know there was a frost gliok here. So I want to make sure I'm... I just want to get this particular one done. So let me make sure I'm geared... I want to say geared to the tens. Well, at least partially geared up so I can just handle this quickly. 90... Sure, 59. This is going to have to be a really quick battle here, boys. Boys and girls. Hi. And I'm just going to keep on shooting them all the way down. And do a little bit of spinning. I should, I should actually eat really quick here while I'm thinking of it. I know they gave me some bananas. This is probably not going to go very fast just because of the nature of this fight. Uh, the nature of our standing point right now. Gotta jump off. I will use the sword. I will use the sword as my standing point for this. This is so dumb. I'm so glad this is the quick fire weapon. You have no idea how glad I am this is quick fire. And spin to win, baby.
Just gonna keep spinning. Hopefully it'll be enough damage. No. We're done here. This fight is over. I say it is because I'm gonna shoot each one of your heads an additional time. This fight is over. I'm done with it. Anyway, now we're done fighting the first Gliak right next to our objective. I don't... You didn't need to fight this Frost Gliak, but I felt it was necessary just to get the picture in question. And I'm pretty sure this over here is our standing point for the picture. Also, Frost Gliak parks probably for some bit of armor later on. There we go. The Forgotten Sword. Perfect. Let's zoom in a little bit, get it nice and picturesque for it too. Perfect. But yeah, that sword actually go. This sword... Oh, I'm going to go ahead and delete this. Um, actually, there's a lot of things I can delete. I'll have turned in the photos. Uh, but yeah, like that particular, uh, what you call it? That particular, I can't think of the word, help. Uh, that particular, that particular sword actually somehow, don't ask how, but that particular... Uh, sword actually came from the statue where we went to earlier. It like just wrapped around right up next to it, and I don't know how it did. I suppose I've already got some of this re registered. I don't need to register it again, do I? So I'm just like thumbing through and seeing what I did. Let's see, I don't need this anymore because I found all those. Don't need this anymore because I found all those. <laughs> uh, this is from the beginning of the adventure. Wow, I I'm cleaning this up just in case I decide to do the stable stuff. Okay, that's probably clear enough for now. But anyway. But yeah, that, that sword is related to this statue over here that we went to a while ago. And it, and it has always been up here since Breath of the Wild. I just forgot it was here. I'll say the same thing I probably said a while ago. Is when you play a game that is... Gosh, I think I'm going to quote myself from when I, did my top, when I did my top 10 video for 2023. When you play a game... That is starting point 100 hours long, not 100% 100 hours long. You're going to forget stuff and a lot of stuff at that. You will not remember everything. It's kind of the same argument that I give to people who it's, it's more or less the same argument I give to a lot of people who are just, who, um, who always gets mad at like somebody like myself who is just like, man, there's too many Pokemon, man. No, man. There's too many. I can't remember them all. I'm really glad they put in that little... Once you fought at least one of the Pokemon, I'm glad they put in that little thing on the attack... On the uh, battle menu that says, hey, what's going to be strong, what's going to be weak, and what's going to be not not super... Or what's going to resist it, what's going to not work, you know, all that stuff. I'm glad they put that on there. Because I'm already complaining about... Are you... Hi. Hey. Uh, 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 treasure bomb brother for the hill stable. Hmm. I feel like I've gotten them all. Anyway. Hey, Tracy. Turning this in now. Ma. Oh, I, tr I trust you, Potter. So Link, Pen's filling in on all the latest. You have be relieved that you managed to get to the bottom of every one of those rumors about the princess. And our paper's circulation is stronger than ever. I'm almost speechless. Oh. Enough of that. You probably just want what I promised. Well, fair enough. Here's what you earned. And now the froggy set is complete. Wow. What do you think? Pretty good, huh? That will really help you stick to the wet surfaces without slipping. Mm. In the end, we didn't actually uncover where Princess Zelda is. But now I know just who to call when we get another good lead. Until then, Link, you keep doing what you do. Your part in all this will be clear soon enough, I bet. Ah. As for Pen, well, I've given him some time off with pay. Well deserved, too. He did a lot of reporting. I did tell him, hey, you say something nice to your partner after all this? I think I put him on the spot. <laughs> he looked at me in an odd way and flew off with barely a sore long. Well, he was right in the middle of writing a news article, too. I can't say I know what that was about. He's bottling something up, maybe. Well, we have the entire froggy set now. And the potential Prince of Sightings is over. So I think if I come up here. So the Typhlo Ruins will finish up in a little bit. Messages from an ancient era. That's when we get to the sky. Travel medallions, we're going to go handle that right now, and also fill in the compendium. Because as awesome as it might sound, I ran away from filling out the compendium quest. You don't actually have to get 100% on that one. So let's go visit Robbie. 
And I might also go turn in some fabrics and whatnot while we're here. Uh, now that I'm thinking about it. But. <laughs> sorry. But. Let's. Um, but yeah, I think we're kind of wrapping things up here, though. Hey, you. Have you uh, we have more work to do. Your pure pad is nowhere near its full capability yet. So which feature? Travel down, please. What? You have the map map date already and for 15 areas? In that case, I'll add the ability to travel to a second and a third spot with the travel medallion feature. I knew you could do it. Great work. Come on, let me see that pure pad. There you go. Take it, look at it, and I never want to talk to you again. So that's it. Once you get, I think it's once you get 10 areas mapped, you can get a second travel medallion. And when you get the entire, the entire surface, well, I guess the entire air, surface level and sky area mapped, you get access to the third travel medallion. And here's the third spot for your Travel Medallion feature. So now, I'm not going to do anything with this stuff because I'm just that foolhardy and hardheaded. And the magic of editing makes this not a moot point for you guys. Because I had a great honor awarded to you for your extensive travels. Well, thank you, Robbie. Completed! At last, your poor pad is complete. And that means you are perfect. He thinks I'm perfect. He's gone see now. That is the objective truth. I am very pleased to say, because of all that, you'll make uh, you'll make an infinitely better progress in your search for the princess. Now, when you find Princess Zelda, we shall tell you you couldn't have done it without pure, your pure pad improvements. We're done with that, and I ran away from this before. Uh, it's a completion. Yep. Uh, can I buy a picture? So let's see. So I'm just gonna buy one of these because it. Oh, you can buy them in bulk. Well, just I'll just buy them all out. Heck, I've been getting a lot. I'll just, I've got enough money for this. So you can just buy all the pictures, so that way you know where everything is. Basically, we just haven't taken pictures. I didn't know we could take pictures before. There we go. And because we did that, completing a compendium can take a lot of effort. Never give up. And remember, my compendium is always here for you. And anytime you need more help, more yeah, more help filling in yours yours out. That's it. I literally just had to buy, I didn't have to buy all that, I just had to buy one of them, and that would have finished that quest. So I ran away from this a long time ago. I could have finished that ages ago. And I'm pretty sure I've got like, I'm pretty sure I've probably got about 20 or 30 people who have typed comments to be like, Ah, oh, you could have finished the hack, the burger. I'm not perfect, man. I'm not perfect, I'm gonna miss a quest. <laughs> I'm gonna goof. I'm getting a little goofy on you. I'll hit you with a gorge every now and again. Would it be sad to say is uh, that I think that my goofy impression is halfway decent. I just can't do his his uh, outstanding yell. Then again, I can't yell to start with, so... <laughs> anyway, last thing here. I might do a couple things. Hey. Well, let's see. Let's let's see. Let's rework the paraglider. Found myself... Uh, let's see. I have a new reference. Oh, that's it? So, let's see. Uh, rework the paraglider. So, we do have a whole bunch of new things. I think he has seen all of the pictures of our stuff. Of all our stuff. Um, we do have the Yiga Clan fabric. That's kind of cool. We get Master Kogan on there. Luralin fabric. I feel like I'm missing the, the uh, Rito fabric. Is, is there Rito fabric? Huh. Well, I'm going to keep this fabric on it. Actually, no, I'm good. So, let's do something a little different just to help set... Seeing as I did finish off this armor set, let's go ahead and do something to change the color. Now, hopefully I have the materials to change the color how I want. Um, You can change your clothes, but I'm going to just look at this stuff and kind of choose... Wait, is there a teal? There's a teal. Yeah, let's make it match my colors. Let's make it match my own uh, avatar colors, or I guess my color palette. Anyway, when doing this kind of stuff when dyeing your clothes, it's literally, you're just trying to match, you're trying to have your, whatever you're trying to dye your stuff, you want to have it match. You want to have it be the same hue of what you're dyeing. So, because I'm doing teal, anything that's teal in color, teal Asian color, will matter. So, like, if I were to dye, for example, if I were to go and dye it black, um, where's my gems? Where's my gems? Where's my jemmy? 
So if I were to die black, flit would count for dying something black. If I were to die at white, uh, these big hard truffles would count for white. And possibly even this rock salt. Just to just to paint the picture and get uh, make sure everything makes sense. So because I got plenty of chew jelly. There we go. Alright, dye me a different color so I so I can look so I can look even more unique. Even though all I, even though all I did was basically hold water, somehow I'm, I'm teal. I'm, all my tattoos are teal. So we did that. Kind of done. Kind of done a lot of stuff that I kind of said I would do at some point, and I now have done it. Anyway, with that all done. Uh, I'm gonna go check. Well, I know I'm kind of fishing for time, acting like I am, but I'm gonna go ahead and uh, just grab the wheat out of the garden back here. And I do need a bladed weapon for this. That's bad that most of my two-handed weapons aren't bladed. So let's use this. Let me go ahead and cut this down. Oh, sorry. I don't mean to sh shock you. I just need a lot of wheat, probably in the future. So I'm going to get this here, because apparently I didn't grab it earlier. Thank you, Uma. Now, I'm going to take a minute and just uh, fuse, some, fuse some stuff to some weapons to make this stuff strong, but I'll actually meet you back at that one stable to turn pictures in. I uh, actually have different plans in mind, so we'll go turn that picture in next time, but I have something else we're going to do before that. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching this episode of Tears of the Kingdom, and I hope I do see you next time. Take care, everybody.